Hi everybody, Brent Bocek here. Uh, we're here over here today taking a quick look at my boat and uh, what I wanted to do is show everybody on the Low Owners Club forum on their website uh, what I've done to my boat to make it personal for me. Just uh, the little things I've added to it such as electronics, rod holders, rod trees, uh, downriggers, etc. So electric motor of course. So what I thought we'd do is uh, as we're taking a quick look here that's pretty much a typical setup what you'll see on my boat. Uh, when I'm salmon fishing, I usually have one or two rods in the rod tree that you can see there standing up. Uh, use that as a net holder as well. Uh, rod come out the side for uh, for a diver, and then a couple, uh, one or two rods in a downrigger, depending on how many people uh, we have out fishing. We're allowed two rods, unlike Ontario when we're salmon fishing per person, so I'll run a maximum of eight rods. Uh, we take a look at the front of the boat here. We have a Minkota Tarova. 80 pound thrust, 24 volt. Uh, right here is the transducer for my 7 inch A series Ray Marine unit, which is a totally touch screen. Uh, one of the nice things I like about the Trova that we have on this boat is that it comes with a remote control and it also comes with a foot pedal. Uh, when I'm out in the Great Lakes trolling for salmon or whether it's Lake Erie for walleye, what I like to do is put my Trova in the water and use the remote control to, to steer the boat. I won't use the electric motor to propel the boat, but I'll use it for steering. That gives me hands free at the wheel. I don't have to be at the wheel all the time. I can set it on a course and it'll stay on course no matter what the wind is even. Uh, it also comes with a foot pedal, which is great when I'm up north and I'm casting for musky walleye or bass. So it, it's the best of both worlds. This Ray Marine unit I have up front also has down imaging and GPS. We get to the helm of the boat, you can see I have another Ray Marine unit here. This one is a 9 inch. Once again, it's an A series. It's a touch screen, uh, along with the GPS and the down imaging. This one also has side imaging hooked up to it. Because I do a lot of fishing on the Great Lakes, you can see I have, uh, well, I have a horn down there, of course. Always have to have a safety horn. Uh, but I have a marine radio also, a VHF radio. So I can contact other fishermen if I need to contact the Coast Guard in case of emergency that's available. What we have here is a Burt's Custom Taco Rod Tree. I can put up to three rods in this tree. On the other side you can see I had the three rods plus the net in there. Uh, you can These ones here are movable so I can have it turned it one way. And then when I'm fishing I can turn it back out to the side for my rods. And then when I'm coming into the dock I got my rods in there. I've put everything so it's all facing back. You have another rod holder here, which you can see I have the rod sticking right out on the other side, which I run divers on. So that just goes right down like that. And it's ratcheted so you can have it set at different levels if you need to. And then at the back here we have electric downriggers. These ones are walker downriggers. So there's a pair of those on there. All this conveniently fits into a track system. Uh, this is a Burt's Custom Tackle track. If I want to take all the rod holders and everything out, I simply take out this screw here. And uh, this little cap comes off. And then I can slide everything out of the track. It takes me about five minutes. I can have everything off the boat and it's clean as a whistle, ready to go uh, You know, have the family in there for some tubing, skiing, or from fishing up north when we're casting. As we come around the back of the boat here, I know in Ontario here, you get a certain size boat, you have to have a uh, ladder on it. So having this factory installed swim platform with the ladder, is, uh, it's great. You don't have to worry about it. Also, there's a transducer, Raymarine transducer for the 9-inch unit at the helm. And over here we have the transducer for the side imaging. You notice I got a 150 four-stroke on here. And the reason I went with the 150 four stroke over the 175 uh, two stroke is because I control with it. I didn't want to have to put a kicker motor on. When I'm salmon fishing, when I have all my gear down, I can get down to as low as two miles an hour. So quite often salmon fishing, we're talking two and a half to three miles an hour. So that works out perfect. Uh, as you can see, these rod holders on the down riggers are dual rod holders. So you can run two riggers off, two rods off one rigger. I usually run one, one rod per rigger. As I was talking a few minutes ago about the diver, uh, I use a diver on these rods. A diver is a, is a disc diver. So it's a dipsy diver or a walker deeper diver. 
and it's a disc that will take your rods, or pardon me, your bait down and out to the side. And uh, it's a great technique for salmon fishing. We catch a lot of fish that way. It's a controlled depth. Just like your downrigger, it's a controlled method of, of uh, attaining your depth that you want. And then on the trees there, these are all uh, Okuma rods and reels. And you can see the net up in there. Keeping your net up there, it just it keeps it handy all the time. It's not on the floor of the boat. It's out of the way. You know, we catch a fish, we rinse the net off, give it a shake, put it up there. It dries again real quick. And it's just out of the way. Always handy. Another thing I chose is to, uh, to order when I bought this boat was the dual axle. I put a lot of miles on every year, uh, pulling the boat behind the truck, and we got the spare tire on the other side there. I figure the amount of traveling that we do, I wanted the uh, dual axle. A little easier, I figure, on the boat itself, pulling with the dual axle. It's easy to trail, and that uh, works great for us. Another thing in the 1810, you have a lot of floor space in here. You got a lot of floor space in the cockpit there when I'm out salmon fishing. You know, where people are moving around in here, we're fighting fish, we're netting fish, you got somebody driving the boat, there's lots of room. Uh, flip down bench for a conversion bench. I'm not gonna flip it down right now because I think I got a bunch of salmon spoons in there for the last few days. Spent the last four days out salmon fishing. I wasn't on the water today, which was kind of nice actually. It gave me a bit of a break. Um, as much fun as fishing is, four or five days on the water in a row can uh, wear you out. So, another thing I like about this boat here is the nice big casting deck up front. You got a lot of room up here. When I'm salmon fishing, I'll put my gear up here, my tackle boxes. Sometimes one guy will sit up here in a little seat if it's real calm out. Uh, I'll use the live walls up here for salmon as well. I'll put a few bags of ice in there, keep our catch fresh. Of course, when I'm up north in the Kortha Lakes here in Ontario, then uh, I'm up here casting. This is my office. I spend a lot of time in the front of the boat here. And uh, the size of it works out real well. So that's just a real quick walk through my boat here. Um, if anybody's got any questions, feel free to shoot us a message at uh, brent at fishenvy.ca or fishenvy at live.ca. So it's F-I-S-H-N-V at live.ca.